this is my Diamondback Eloso Fat Tire mountain bike. And, well, it's not exactly what you would call svelte. The tires are almost 5 inches wide, which is like three normal mountain bike wheels side by side. We already know that these tires are massive enough to use the bike as a flotation device. And once you get them spinning, they sound like TIE fighters. Yet, even at that speed, you can stop these massive wheels from spinning with the flick of a finger, thanks to some run-of-the-mill hydraulic brakes. These are similar to what you'd find in the majority of mountain bikes sold today. And indeed, they came on my fat bike. But they didn't come with baby oil in the rear brake. You see, the front lever, hose, and caliper are filled with Shimano brand hydraulic brake oil, just like factory. But just over a year ago, we purged the rear brake and refilled it with baby oil. Here we are a year later, and it's still in there. The question is, why do this? Well, you can find forum posts and comments spanning a decade from those claiming that baby oil can be used in place of brake oil on certain brands, namely those that use mineral oil blends like Shimano, TRP, and Magura. So the questions we're attempting to answer today are, is baby oil the same as brake oil? Is baby oil easier to obtain? Does it work as well as brake oil? Is it cheaper? Will it damage your brakes? Is it safe for the rider? And is brake oil safe for infants? Maybe we'll pass on that last one. I still don't fully understand why you need to fill babies with oil. But before we answer the first six questions, I need to reiterate that we only filled one model of one brand with baby oil. And that's not science. So this video is just for your entertainment. With that being said, let's move on to the first question. Is baby oil the same as brake oil? No. The only thing baby oil shares in common with any of these brand-specific blends is that it's based on mineral oil. But even pure mineral oil has a different viscosity and boiling point than any one of these solutions. Not to mention that all of these blends have different properties than each other. There's also the whole smelling like a diaper part, so it's not the same thing. Next question, is baby oil easier to obtain? Yes. Baby oil or straight mineral oil can be obtained at the grocery store. You can get it 24-7. Meanwhile, some bike shops don't even sell brake oil, keeping it on hand only for service. Usually, you'll need to order bleed supplies online. So yes, baby oil is much easier to obtain. But does it work as well as brake oil? Well, that question's not as easy to answer. But in the case of my fat bike, it seemed to work just as well. But again, that's only a test on one brake on this bike in this climate at this elevation. We can assume that reputable manufacturers perform torture tests in their brakes, where they burn through a full set of pads in only minutes. So perhaps in really demanding situations where the pistons heat up, we would see different results. We can also assume that when engineers design brakes, they're plugging numbers into formulas that correspond to the properties of their own in-house oil. Since brakes are designed around the fluid they'll be using, it's hard to argue they'll work exactly the same using something else. But to what degree is up for debate? Next question. Is replacing brake oil with baby oil cheaper? That depends. For argument's sake, let's assume that baby oil works just as well as the real thing. Then yes, it would save you money. Name brand baby oil is about a dollar per ounce. And if we use the cheap stuff, it's 25 cents per ounce. Shimano brake oil costs $1.30 per ounce, which is clearly more expensive. But that's just the cost of the oil. Should you decide to send your diaper-scented brakes in for a warranty claim, you may be denied, and that would cost you money. Also, the cost of legit brake oil is actually less than brake cables. An entire purge and refill of your front and rear brakes would cost under a dollar using Shimano oil, and most riders don't even do that yearly. Next question, will baby oil damage your brakes? Before making this video, I went to Squatch Bikes in Brevard, North Carolina to get the opinion of a professional bike mechanic. Does it have a smell? Oh yeah, it smells like a diaper. Oh, I wonder what it smells like now. Pat purged these brakes, took them apart, and removed the seals so we could examine the most vulnerable parts under a microscope. Again, the front lever was filled with legitimate Shimano brake oil, 
and only the rear had the baby oil in it, making the front lever a control. It's a little different on the outside. That little ridge on the outside. But that just might be the way that the light's catching it. We examined the seals and O-rings side by side, looking for any differences between the two levers. So that's brake oil and that's baby oil. To make a long story short, we could not see any difference. Given that there's nothing but rubber and aluminum inside of these brake levers and calipers, it's hard to imagine there would be. After all, baby oil is not exactly what you'd call a harsh chemical. But with all that said, we still don't know how baby oil affects brakes exposed to high heat, lofty elevations, or long-term abuse. So is it safe to use in your brakes? It was in my case. But we can't comment on other brakes being used in different ways for different periods of time. As for the rider, well, I slept just fine knowing my brakes were filled with baby oil. But I can't recommend that others do the same. Brakes are just too important. And this was at most an unscientific test. Now, I know some of you were rooting for the baby oil. It's fun to think you can get something from the diaper aisle to run your brakes on. And I would love nothing more than to expose brake manufacturers for ripping off their customers, while simultaneously providing a cheap alternative to their Kool-Aid-filled brake fluid. But that's just not the case. Brake oil is far from expensive, and there are no compelling reasons to use something else unless you simply have no choice. So unless you're in some theoretical Apollo 13 situation where you'll die in space without a brake oil substitute, you might want to order the right stuff for your brand, or at the very least, something designed for brakes. Speaking of which, this test has left my brakes completely devoid of any oil, so we need to fill them up. If only I could find that big jug of Shimano oil. Where did I put that? Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.